Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on equivalence of two permutations or equality of two permutations in group theory of discrete mathematics course. In the previous video, we are already discussed about what is permutation group, what are the examples of permutations on a given set that can be discussed with the two example problems. Please refer that videos in my YouTube channel. Now, in this video, we have to discuss about when we can say that two permutations are equal on a given finite set that can be discussed with one example problem. Let us consider capital S be a finite set that contains finite number of elements. F is one permutation that can be defined on the elements of set S through function F. G is another permutation that can be defined on the elements of set S through function G. Now, the permutation F is equivalent to permutation G if and only if f of x is equal to g of x for all x belongs to s. We can say that the permutation f is equivalent to permutation g. We can take any element x of s. Image of x through function f is equal to image of x in function in permutation g through function g. That means image of x in f is equivalent to image of x in g for all x belongs to s. So whenever this condition is satisfied, we can take any element in set s. Image of x in f is equivalent to image of x in g. Okay. If this condition is satisfied, we can say that the permutation F is equivalent to permutation G. Okay. So, this is the definition. Let F and G be two permutations defined on a set S. Then, we define permutation F is equivalent to permutation G. If and only if image of x in permutation f is equivalent to image of x in permutation g for all x belongs to s where x is an element of s okay now consider this example let s is equal to set of 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 and f and g are two functions defined on s as f from s to s and g from s to s. Verify f and g permutations are equal or not. This is the uh, permutation f and this is the permutation s, permutation g. Okay, f is defined from s to s and g is defined from s to s. When s is equal to set of 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so now consider this uh, permutation F. Okay, here uh, F is mapping from S to S. Okay, S contains what are the elements? 1, 2, 3, 4. Same S contains the elements 1, 2, 3, 4. This S is this one. This S is this one. A function F mapping from S to S. In this one, one image is 2. 1 image is 2, 2 image is 4, 2 image is 4, 3 image is 3, 3 image is 3, 4 image is 1, 4 image is a 1. Okay, so that means I, I have to write f of 1 is equal to, that means 1 image is 2. Next one, f of 2, that means 
2 image is 4. Next, f of 3 is equal to 3 image is 3. Next, f of 4 is equal to 4 image is 1. Okay, next. Now consider uh, G is a function mapping from S to S whenever S is equal to set of 1, 2, 3, 4. I am taking this S is this one, this S is this one, this contains 1, 2, 3, 4 elements, this contains 1, 2, 3, 4 elements, a function G mapping from S to S. Here one image is 2, S, one image is 2, 2 image is 4, 2 image is 4, 3 image is 3, 3 image is 3. 4 image is 1. 4 image is 1. Okay, this is one permutation that can be defined whenever G is mapping from S to S. So, here I am writing G of 1. That is 1 image is 2. Next, G of 2. 2 image is 4. G of 3. 3 image is 3. G of 4. 4 image is 1. Okay. So, 1 image is 2. 2 image is 4. 3 image is 3. 4 image is 1. 2 image is 4. 1 image is 2. 4 image is 1. 3 image is 3. Okay. Now observe this one by considering these two. So f of 1 is equal to 2 is equal to g of 1. f of 1 image is 2, g of 1 image is 2. Both are equal. Next one. So f of 2 is equal to 4 that is equal to g of 2. f of 2, 2 image is 4 in function f, 2 image is 4 in function g. Next, f of 3 is equal to 3 is equal to g of 3. 3 image is 3 in permutation f. 3 image is 3 in permutation g. Next, f of 4 is equal to 1 is equal to g of 4. 4 image is 1 in permutation f. 4 image is 1 in permutation g. So, we can say that each and every element we are taking in set S, yes, the same image is in permutation F, in permutation G. Hence, we can say that F is equal to G. Permutation F is equal to permutation G, if and only if we are taking any element in set S, yes, the image of that element in permutation F and the permutation G are equal. So that we can say that permutation F is equal to permutation G. Okay. So in this way, we have to solve the given problem. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. And also please comment on that video. And please subscribe my YouTube channel. So, Divella Srinivasarao.